will undoubtedly be a thrilling steel cage match. If you ask me, this one has what it takes to be right up there with some of the great triple threat matches of the past, including the classic we saw at WrestleMania 30. Ziggler is here to show the world just how good he is, and he's ready to steal the show. And with that attitude to give him the moniker of the show off, but you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. Smart attacking the arm. Scoot slam. A knee drop. The challenger is starting to slow down a bit here. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. Hey, it's not an oh, easy man. atmosphere to excel in. Not only is he in the ring with WWE's toughest, but he's surrounded by an incredibly unforgiving steel cage. This might be it. Oh, my. Ooh. Boom, what impact. Swing blade. Nicely done. Look out! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to Ooh, what impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Alistair Booth, can he finish the job? And Alistair Black might have just secured the victory. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the award. Black Mass! This is all but over. And Alistair Black, the champion into the cover! No, a kick out! You better change direction. That's not going to keep a finely tuned machine like Dolph Ziggler down. Not now, not ever. Hooked him up. Vertical suplex. Nice. Ah, backdrop suplex. Uh-oh. And a suplex. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that Alistair Black may have it, You've got to believe this one's over. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship. We saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho. Alistair Black, what a strike. Right on the mark. That has got it. He's going for the pin. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. How about another look at some of the highlights? These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall. Though. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Total Nonstop Wrestling Champion, Alistair Black. Well, that one was over before it even started. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come.